time for a Moochie Robinson update. Moochie Robinson, what's going on, man? What's good, Joey? How are you? Good, bro. How are you doing? How are um, you feeling? <laughs> I feel great. Why is everybody being so mad? Like, this is what we wanted. <laughs> This think is what happens, it. bro. But listen, think about it, right? Remember what happened to uh, Carson Wentz in the um, in that uh, Seahawks game when he went down and got hurt. Mm -hmm. So guess who came in for him after that? Uh, McLeod, right? All right. Josh McLeod. So who would you rather have, Josh McLeod, or would you have, or would you want um, Jalen Hurts to go in? And if Jalen and whoever would have went in, would we have won that game if Jalen Hurts was? in there i don't know i really i really don't i mean we kind of went back to our old ways even in that game too like i know carson was only in for like eight snaps so that was it but i mean i thought i thought the game was i i don't know if putting i look you could say the same thing about carson putting carson wentz in the playoffs in 17 would he have been successful i mean it's it goes both ways. I, I really don't know if it would have worked out or, you know, McCown, you know, the, the, the obvious reason is McCown, like that was like, that was his preseason game. Go, I mean, just to go in there because he hasn't played anything. So um, it, it was really hard to even, it was, it was really hard to see Carson be out of that game. And I was stunned. My heart, I was at the game. I, my heart dropped when that happened. People were on their phones like Carson, he's out of the game. I was like, what? And, you know, just the luck of what he's doing. But I don't know whatever quarterback goes in there if would have made a huge difference. I'm not really sure, man. I don't know, but that's my point. That's the reason why, even though we all hate Ro um, Howie Roseman, that's the reason why he said – that's the reason why he got hurt in the second round. I mean, just think about it. I understand we need a wide receiver. and We need we uh, we definitely need a wide receiver. That's, a, that's on his fault. That's really his fault. But, again, he probably thought, well, Carson's been getting hurt for the last two years. Why don't we just get this quarterback, and we could just keep it, you know, keep it afloat? You just never know. So, I mean, this is the reason why we have Jalen Hurts. And at the end of the day, Carson Wentz is a football player. He can't be bitching up. Like at the end of the day, you still got to play. I guarantee you, if we had Tom Brady or if we had, uh, why is it? I mean, it doesn't. It's not Doug's fault. It's nobody's fault but Carson Wentz. When you out there. And if you say kill, 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 that means you're killing the play off of what Doug said. And then when you throw the ball, it's supposed to be an audible to another wide receiver. And if you mess up on that play, that's your fault. I mean, that all Doug do is just sit there. All you do is stand there, read your play, and it's just for you to enforce it. Point blank, period. Does When you say hike and you throw the ball, throw the ball out of bounds. Don't get sacked and lose yardage. That's your fault. But until Hurts come in, I understand they saying, you know, the, you know, litigation saying he was still bad within four games, but he was bad all around because once you put heart, um, Hurts in for that gadget play, we've been seeing him doing that gadget play so much that once he went into the last four games, this is what made him surprised. I mean, he was still opening up. He was making touchdowns. He was making throws that Carson Wentz wasn't making. So at the end of the day, Carson Wentz is still damaged goods. I mean, it's the reason why they was helping him. They was giving him entrees of they gave him Brian Johnson. They gave him a new – coach and at the same time Nick Sirianni and uh, Frank Wright once once this year opens up depending on how the playbooks are they might be similar why because of obviously you know he used to be the coordinator so I mean it then you're leaving all, only, only because of one person I mean Howie Roseman like this is really Carson Wentz team Howie Roseman this is your last year do what you need to do get, make sure you get the right players and after you get the right players even if they wrong players he's still out the door I mean it just makes no sense. I mean, yes, I'm happy that Carson Wentz left only because, again, I mean, I'm not – I'm up and down. Like, I'm contradicting myself because at the end of the day, I didn't really like Carson Wentz's gameplay, but when a Colts uh, jersey come out, I, I I might get a Carson Wentz jersey. Only, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a different team. But at the same time, he needs to be fixed. If, if he's not fixed, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like – um. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I'm, you know, I got my own YouTube page. I'll be talking my stuff. I'll be listening to you all the time. Yeah, I've seen um, that in your page. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, <laughs> I just don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm relieved now. long Because we all knew if either he was, I'm glad he didn't go to the Bears. Because if he was going to go to the Bears, he was still going to tarnish his career. Because every time he makes a throw, and if he loses that throw, 
miss a throw, you're going to say, well, Nick Foles was here. He would have made that throw. So it's good that he didn't go over there, you know, because he, right. no matter what, uh, Nick Foles' name is going to come up. So I understand he went over here. Now he got a new chapter. He's with Frank Wright. But he better pull it off. I mean, if he don't, I mean, I just don't know what to say. He needs to be fixed, point blank, period. He's only good on the run when he throws the ball. Uh, he's holding on to the ball too long. I mean, if Doug or nobody – see, that's the thing. He was getting away with a lot. Just like what Michael Jenkins said, he was he was getting away with a yep. lot. You know, so you need to fix that first. Once you fix that, you know what I'm saying, sky's the limits. It was one time I seen Carson Wentz. I wanted to, I was right next to him. I wanted to say, what's up? I mean, I, I wanted to take a picture, of course, but if you ain't want to take a picture, it's what it is. But you know, the way how he's acting, when I almost walked to him, it was a guy that stopped me and said, no, 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 wait, wait, what you want? And like, so it's like he has, he had a yes man with him. So if he got a yes man with him right there, now I understand why he never reached out to the media or why he never said nothing. So, I mean, I guess that's what money do to you. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. But until then, I believe our team is going to definitely, it's going to be hurt. Um, hurts. He definitely going to do something. Hopefully, I hope they don't, um, I hope they don't uh, draft a quarterback in the first round. I mean, for anything, draft a quarterback in the fifth, the sixth, mm-hmm. or the seventh round, and just let him build up. Just, you know what I mean, have him come in and build around Hurts. Uh, you know, I'm glad Brian Johnson is there because Brian Johnson was with his dad and all, so it's, it's like family. So I'm pretty sure Nick Sirianni, I know he got something in him. Like, I understand he did all the stuttering and all that, but. As a football team, as a whole, I'm pretty sure we can get it together. As long as we fix – my thing is let's get Sertan as the first round, have him um, work with uh, Slay on the other side, put Maddox back at safety because that's what he was strong at. The reason why he went over to the cornerback was because – um can't think of the guy's name that went to uh, Florida, to the Jackson um, Jaguars. Once he, went, once he went over there, he was all over the place. Like, he, like his legs and his feet wasn't right. But putting him back at safety mm-hmm. – that will be dominant in the secondary. Now we just need to work on our linebackers. Once we learn uh, work on our linebackers, defense will be unstoppable. And then we just leave the rest to um to uh, Shane, the offensive coordinator, and Nick Sirianni with the whole offensive scheme. I'm pretty sure we'll get somewhere. I mean, we'll be better than four and eleven. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, other than that, that's all I gotta say. I mean, but other than that, I'm happy. I'm just I'm relieved. Carson Wentz Thank not you. here no Thank more. Thank God. You know what I'm saying? Now it's going to be um. What do you call it? What's Annapolis? I think they're going to like Indianapolis. What's <laughs> Annapolis? I'm pretty sure they're going to call it that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah. I don't know, but <laughs> I want to say we should be happy. I, I don't, like, I'm, I'm, aren't you happy that Carson? No, I'm, 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 I'm relieved I don't have to make any more Carson Wentz videos. So, yeah, I'm, right. I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, and we got new, we got new, because again, I'm pretty sure every time you go to a game and every time you. I watched your, your videos for over because like how long you been doing it like maybe four or five years, going on six yeah about five years yeah. All right, so surprisingly, I'm not going to say, but the type of job I have, I believe I've seen you at your job, but I didn't realize until once I got on to the on YouTube, I'm like, wait, a minute, I seen him somewhere. But I was like, oh, all right, I get it. So I've been following you for so long, and every time you look at the like, even when you be playing your video games, you be looking at this, yeah, you know I mean, you be staring like, come on, like, yeah, you know I mean, so. Every time when Carson Wentz throw the ball, we get upset or we, oh, snap, he caught it. Oh, I'm relieved. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like, <laughs> you know, he wasn't accurate. You know, so it's like, again, Hurts is the, you know, the truth hurts. You know what I'm saying? So Hurts is definitely, I, I guarantee you, he's going to do something this year. I'm not saying, I mean, I understand you said we're not going to be a contender, but for some reason, I feel that we are. I feel that we're going, you know, and I know we just, we, we're going, we, how he knows better. He better pick the right picks. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm going to be down there with a flag and doing something, you know, so. <laughs> right, I don't right, know. Right. But until then, you know, um, shout out to you and your whole, you know, your, your this is your backup page. I see yeah. it growing, you know, so do what you do. I'm going to continue on listening. Yeah, if you guys have subscribed to Bucci Robinson, he's another Eagles uh, vid maker as well coming up. So if you guys have subscribed to him, please hit that sub button uh, on his channel. And I'm actually going to upload this to my main channel. So what I'm going to do is I'll put your uh, information in there as well as subscribe to your channel and stuff and support you. So uh, uh, very much, uh, very good. Do you cover Sixers content? I forgot if you cover Sixers as well. I'm a start. I'm, I'm not. I didn't do it yet, but actually, 
I'm gonna be on another radio shit um station. Uh, I think it's called Devon Sports. I'm gonna be mm-hmm. doing that Sunday, so I'm gonna definitely get started getting into it. But until then, I just want to. I'm all football right now because, like I said, once I get off, off this, I'm about to do a backflip and just say yes. Carson's not here no more because everybody at the job at my job right now they're upset about the picks. Again, I'm not worried about the picks. At least we got a third pick. Anything is possible too. You know what I'm saying? We got a third pick, and if Carson is wins is good, like they say, I guess the twenty uh, second one, uh, uh, 2022, it turned into a first. So, mm-hmm. again, he's damaged goods right now. So, everybody can say what they want. At the end of the day, Carson Wentz is still damaged goods until he gets fixed. And if he's not fixed yet, it's cool to be with his dad now. I mean, he's with Car- or, uh, Frank Wright. If he's not fixed, I'm sorry, with, you know, what if Brissett is still better than him? You just never know, you know, because after his knee injury, he was never good. He was, I mean, well, he came back with 4,000 yards. I get all that, but. That was Mike Groff and all that with the um, coordinating and everything. That was bad, but uh, until then, he's just damaged goods. I mean, y'all can hate me all you want. I, I still like Carson. Don't get me wrong, but he still needs to be fixed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. I agree. You know, so other than that, I appreciate you having me on here. I'm about to get back into this snow real quick, and um, until then, I am going to post up another uh, a video tonight, too. So, again, I appreciate you. You know, keep up the good work. Do your thing. Yeah, you too, man. We will speak soon. Right, Appreciate coming in, man. Peace out, Definitely. bro.